Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the the game player, or also known by the let's say what says the box, the W1. I must say that I have seen my share of weird, let's say, game players or handhelds from China, but this thing, I think that will be like in my top 10 the most weird devices that I found on AliExpress. Okay, guys, but let's take a close look in the inside. What are we going to get? So first of all, the handheld itself. It comes with a very nice, cool key ring. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this guy is really awesome. He is more like the cool chicken guy. Over here, we're going to get a very short, very horrible, cheap micro USB cable. Okay, here we're going to get a quick overview of the manual itself. And the manual is like the toilet paper manual that we're always going to get. Do not disassemble or try to repair the handheld game console and any of its components. Yeah, we're just going to do a tear down. That's it. There's nothing much in it. Oh boy, let's take a close look at this device because I must say this thing looks pretty cool. Alright, so first of all, this thing is not comfortable to play at all. Like this is the most tiny clicky D-pad ever. It only have four buttons, no shoulder buttons, so it's going to be like 8-bit all over again. Yeah, yeah thought we're going to get this rubbery thing. It's kind of cool. It gives this thing like a head idea. Like here we're going to get the sunglasses, volume control, and here we're going to get the on and off switch. Let's take a close look at the boat menu. Oh, we're going to get the language selection. No annoying, annoying Final Found song anymore. That's it. When you're pressing it, it will have different volume levels. Oh, the old school multi game cards from the 90s or 80s, 90s with this tick 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 sound. So, in total, we're going to get a couple of games on it 99. It's going to be a list of all kinds of versions King of Fighters 99. So, if I know, like, that's the thing in Crash, I'm guessing that Crash Bandicoot, a rip off game. So, it's a mix of homebrew with non licensed games, a lot of modern games. And this looks all messed up. The display itself is quite good, so let's boot up a game and let's see what happens. Okay, so the display itself, it's not an IPS whatsoever, but it looks kind of nice. Okay, so let's press the start button that is on the side over here, a very unique position. Here we're going to get the reset. So that's it, man. So I, I find it a very interesting design. At the back, we're going to get the speaker itself. At the bottom, we're going to get the micro USB. And I must hand it to him. Like, I have seen my share of handhelds, but this thing is like a cool collectible. But it is. Is it any good when it comes to the games? Let's find out. All right. So, Pocket Mons are one of these games that you always can find on a device like this. It's a kind of interesting story when it comes to the resetting. I just wanted to show you like when you're pressing this, it also resets the volume. So every time you need to choose the language and you need to choose the freaking audio settings. That is quite annoying. Okay, so let's take a close look at this game. It's kind of weird that the start and the left side, I'm used to it at the right side. This weird game called Formation. Oh, I just basically killed myself. Of course, I'm always doing the recording stuff. It's playable. But I must say that... Oh, I need to shoot the ground. I need to shoot the ground! Okay, so let's try another game. Let's see what happens when we're choosing a different game. See, it resets the audio again. Quite annoying. And there are so many weird stuff on that. Like ice hockey that says like it's ass it's ass hockey ass hockey I mean ice hockey <laughs> I'm brain farting already <laughs> I'm just starting the day over here oh boy don't forget to check out my second channel the wicked brain fart <laughs> by the way starfighter press the star button oh yeah need to reset the audio you're going to crash so is this something you knew you're going to be happy with i don't think so like all these weird a bit basic games so that's the only thing i'm doing like shooting stuff whoa 
don't know what the hell was going on there, but... Oh, so next up, Crisis. What's this game called? But I think the most annoying part about this thing is like that you need to reset or put your volume up every time you reset the device. It doesn't do anything. At least make these like turbo buttons, but it isn't. So let's try a familiar game just to see how the emulation itself is. So let's press the start. Already adjusted the volume for the fifth time. Uh, I had a brain fart in my previous part of the video. It seems to be I do have turbo functionality, so that's great. It's just a great cheating way to play. And I'm surprised like how I can respond in this game because of this tiny clicky D-pad. But your hands don't need it. if your hands are going to be bigger like mine. I can tell you it will not be a pleasant experience. And I know like within like 10 minutes or so making this video, it will cramp up my hands big time. Okay guys, so what do I think of the <laughs> handheld? I must say like I find it a very fun collectible. It looks kind of cute, but it is everything but comfortable and fun to play. Yeah, there are some familiar games, a lot of naughty games I love to call it. But when you're looking at the overall experience, like it's way too tiny when it comes to the display. The, the controls like, they are like playable somehow, but it's like cramping up my hands. Within a couple of minutes, my hands feel, oh man, it's not, not very convenient. And it's not very comfortable. So that's the question, what's with this handheld? Is it more like a fun item you want to add to your handheld collection? Or is it just actually something you want to play? Nevertheless, I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and let me know in the comments what do you think of this. Hit the little bell, become on the Wicked family and I will see you in the next video.